Mick flared up. Us looks for new wife as Rebecca Gannon revealed Meg is a replacement for her, Rift. It was a long time coming, according to Women's Day New Zealand. A source close to Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle stated that disagreements and fights between the two have worsened in recent weeks, says made a strong but temporary decision. The Sussex would be having too many disagreements related to the upcoming projects after Netflix miniseries or even the title of his memoir, released on January 10. But it seems like the freedom with which Meghan has spoken out about life in the royal family has not gone down well with her husband. Harry resents Meghan's revealing too much, according to The Insider. Harry believes that Meghan reveals too much about them in the show, and that even many of the things she said aren't accurate. He's said to blame Meghan for going off plan and telling too much of her own truth in the docuseries, and that her truth isn't always the truth. The Insider added, and considering that California home is mortgaged to the hilt, they need the money. He finished off, they could divorce in two years at the most. It's not just Harry who's upset but it's also reported that Meghan would be tired of her husband and could be looking for an exit plan in the not-too-distant future. Currently, rumors of a rift between the two continue to explode, and many secret girlfriends, as well as Harry's ex-girlfriends, continuously appear in the press. They said the same quote, they hope Harry finds someone more suitable, and recently, a character who surprised us with an identical face to the Duchess spoke out about her experience with Harry before the prince fell into Meghan Markle's trap. Is Meghan just an alternative to this girl after he was rejected many times? I could have been Harry's princess. He didn't want her to leave his side while hanging out in a pool cabana with Rebecca Gannon at MGM's Wet Republic during his infamous Las Vegas weekend. Prince Harry kicked people out of the cabana so he could be alone, the then director of guest services tells us in touch, adding that there was a spark. To we spent some time together, he seemed to be flirting a little. I couldn't believe it. He liked me and kept saying, you stay here, so she did. But even as Harry offered her vodka shots and turned on his charm, opening up to her about his late mother Princess Diana and telling the Belize native, you have a lovely glowing smile, Rebecca turned down his advances. He wanted to kiss me, but I said no, she says. I just couldn't. I was working. Now that Harry is Meghan Markle's husband, however, Rebecca is kicking herself. Everyone tells me I lost my chance because Meghan and I look a little bit like each other. Harry certainly seemed smitten. After we spent much of the day together, he gave me his bracelet and told me to keep it forever, Rebecca says of the prince, who shared a bracelet with Meghan too. Eventually, he asked for my phone number. Someone from his entourage contacted her that night, but she couldn't join him again because of work. But he just didn't give up. He came back into town about four months later and tried to see me again, she says. But she turned him down again because we came from such different backgrounds, and she didn't see potential for a real relationship with the so-called party prince. As Meghan would learn five years later, there was I had a chance, she says of becoming a real-life princess.